What's up guys, I'm Tash and this is Tash Tech and we have another video for you guys today. Uh, we haven't had a video in a couple of weeks because I've been kind of busy with the uh, Predator printer which I'm building, the 3D printer which I'm trying to put together. It's a huge monster 3D printer which uh, I'm going to build so that you guys can see how we're going to build it and you can build your own. I'm building that because in turn with that I'm going to be making the BB-8 droid from Star Wars. Yeah, I'm making it. The nice guys over at the BB-8 Builders Group have released STL files. They 3D designed the head and the body from what I see and we're going to 3D print them and I thought if I have a bigger printer to do it, I can do it a lot quicker. So uh, I started that project before the BB-8 so uh, I thought it would be nice to get that one done. I'm going to show you guys how to do that and we're going to do the BB-8 and that's going to be a series of videos. The last video we did was the Samsung S6 Edge. You want to zoom over there quick? Okay, we're going to cut to it later on. Um, that's the Iron Man Edition S6 Edge. We're giving it away. We've had over a thousand views on that video. I need you to subscribe and I need you to comment in that video. Look on my videos, my video page, watch it, and then subscribe and comment. And you could be getting that phone. Wherever you are in the world, I'll send it to you. All right. Um, this video though is a, I don't know how to say it, I kind of go on a spending spree every, at least once a month, online spending and I, and, I, and I surf through the web, I do a lot of internet browsing and I generally buy a lot of crap that I see, I'm like, ah, oh, it looks cool and I buy it. So I've got a cupboard full of, full of this crap that, you know, I've had for weeks, months now. And we thought we're just gonna like clear that cupboard out. I'm gonna like show you guys what it is. I don't even remember what's in that cupboard. My camera lady Liz, my director, we've got a cupboard full of things. Uh, a lot of it's over there on the table next to her. And she's gonna pick one thing at random. She's gonna give it to me. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna talk about it. All right, so Liz, pick something, give it to me. Let's talk about it. This is a, this is a what's in the cupboard segment. What's in the cupboard? Okay, what's in the cupboard? Part one of the video, what's in the cupboard? Okay, what have you got here? This is a Kinex multi-sync keyboard. All right, I remember buying this actually. I bought it from Gadget Shop, gadgetshop.ca.za. Um, why did I buy it exactly? I think you needed, we needed a keyboard and, I, and I'm all for wireless because I hate cables. So I bought this, we never actually used it. We needed a keyboard for uh, back then we were using the MacBook Pro to do editing. We had a screen connected to it, an IPS LG monitor, and uh, it was so difficult to type on that, that MacBook. So, uh, we got this keyboard with a numpad because Liz needed a numpad. And apparently it synchronizes to the phone and the Mac. And um, a tablet that looks like an Apple tablet, an iPad. Uh, I hope it synchronizes to other things. We're going to check it out. Okay, well it's Bluetooth so it probably will. Uh, I need a knife. Got a knife? I don't have a knife here now. Oh, here's my knife. Let's get my knife. Let's open that up. I'm gonna open it up. I've got my laptop here. I'm gonna try to connect it to my laptop. See how good it is. Oh, I've already ripped it now. Box, there we go. Okay, a little booklet. Uh, oh, it's quite a nice, big, roomy keyboard. And we, we like the Mac keyboards, don't we? That's the only thing we do like though, right? In terms of Mac. P.S. Apple, if you're watching this, send me some stuff to review and then I might just fall in love with it again. Batteries. It looks like a little stand. It's not for the keyboard, obviously. I think it's probably for a, a device, uh, your iPad or whatever cases. And a, a, a USB cable. I think this could be, if you don't want to do Bluetooth, I guess it's, yeah, um, I doubt it's for recharging because these batteries are not rechargeable. These are those terrible Maxell batteries you get with your devices. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put this box away. It's very nice, I mean it looks like it's, thank you Liz, looks like it's manufactured uh, in, the, in the, the Apple style. It's not metal though, like that, that, that um, brushed metal that they use it's plastic but it looks it feels very really high end I'm gonna put this in I see here it says there's one Bluetooth two Bluetooth and three Bluetooth I think you can synchronize it with three different devices simultaneously that might be interesting to see pop the batteries in there 
Where's the tabs? I'm gonna switch it on. See the Bluetooth light just flashed there. Gonna push that pair button. Um, I don't know how to, I'm actually quite sure how to put it on my PC here. Just setting it up. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna see quick uh, how to set up to Windows if there is a way. All these things here. Windows again connects. Guess it does go to your Windows machine. I'm not too sure how. Oh, I think it's possibly. Let's just read the instructions here quick. So at the top here on the keyboard we have, uh, which is F1, F2, and F3, the F, the, the, the function buttons. And at the top of F1 there's Bluetooth 1, and then Bluetooth 2 on F2, and Bluetooth 3 on F3. And then there's a USB icon on F4. And if I read this, it says that you can pair it with up to three devices. You can obviously only use it on one device at a time by pushing the relevant one. So if I pair it with my laptop on Bluetooth FN1, then F1 is that key. If I pair it with something else, then F2 is that key to pair it to the other thing. Uh, okay, pairing your multi and keyboard to Mac OS to Apple OS um, doesn't tell you how to do it to Windows though, but on the website, on Kanex website, it does say that it is Windows compatible. I'm not too sure if it's only on USB. We're going to have a look. I cannot see anything about Windows on here. With all due respect, I did purchase it for a Mac system at the time, but I'm pretty sure you can use it on a Windows. Um, it says, yeah, Mac. Yeah, but on the website it says you can use it with Windows. Or maybe you use different keyboards? Maybe. Um, this one, yeah, it says Android as well. Because basically anything Bluetooth. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole setup on my PC to connect it. It's a keyboard. How like amazing can it be? Um, yeah, that's basically it. It's a nice little keyboard, you know, it's got your full set of keys here, it's got your numpad. Uh, I think it's pretty cool because it has your command and things like that on here as well. So if you're using what, how we use, we use, uh, what's the photo, the video editor suite we use? Yeah. We use Premiere Pro um, on Windows and like a lot of the commands and things like that, because it's built for a Mac PC, uh, you can use a Mac keyboard on a Windows PC, which is a Mac keyboard here, this is the Connect, and it has the command and the option key and the control key, and it's also another key uh, that you can program, maybe the Windows button. Um, so your shortcuts and all that will be quite nice. This is a, a pure, it's not an editing keyboard, but it's close to, editing keyboards are very expensive, you guys know that. Um, I'm not gonna purchase one, just for Liz to use. Come on, okay? She has to work for it. So that's it. Okay, so that's the keyboard. Um, we're gonna stop there. Just, I'm just gonna do one, okay? And um, that's the first video of what's in the cupboard. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button. I give, I'm gonna give this away. We don't need it anymore, so you guys could win it. It was costing me quite a bit of money from the gadget shop. You can go have a look there if you wanna see it. We'll put a link below if it's still in the gadget shop. Like I said, I buy this stuff a long time ago. I'm not too sure if it's even still on sale. Uh, yeah, so hit the subscribe button and hit the, the like button on this video. Check me out on Facebook, links are here somewhere. Our Instagram as well, links are here somewhere. And um, check out my blog, angrytash.com, and leave a comment below. Thanks very much for watching. She's talking, she's not even letting me talk. You can, you can do this.